TV. Uh, this is Jadrian with Pug TV. We're going to be running a custom-made uh, Star Trek Online episode today. Uh, this one's by Style Sai. I got his name here. He had wanted me to do one called a Private Civil War, but I couldn't find it in the list. And the only one I could find by him is the Vornan Rebellion. And he said it was new, so it might not have posted yet, or I'm just not very good at finding stuff. Hmm. So I'm going to. Oh well, unless it's in here. I just put myself in as a reviewer, so it's quite possible that um, maybe I gotta do a separate search. Hold on. Yeah, I didn't find it. So I'm gonna go with uh, his other one that he's got here, which is the Vornan Rebellion. So we're gonna run that today. So I'm gonna go ahead and start that up. Let's see here. Double check, make sure everything is running. Okay, so uh, this is for style Sci. Uh, hopefully, this will give you an idea of the kinds of things you can do with the Foundry system if you haven't played a custom-made mission. I've done a couple, but um, they're kind of hard to find on my site because I, I do uh, videos for a lot of other games too. So what I'm going to do is make sure that when I post that I've reviewed, that there's a link that goes directly to the video reviewing that a particular Foundry run mission. So when I'm done with this one, I'll post it in the uh, the Star Trek Foundry forum. It'll be under uh, there's one in there called like you know Pug, Pug TV invades Star Trek Online or something like that. Uh, but anyway, I'm going to have a forum in there where I'll try and put a link to all the different Foundry missions that I run, so you can see yours specifically. And then if you want me to run one, you can request it, and I'll I'll pull it up and run it. So there's a couple that I'm going to do, but today I'm just going to do this one. So we're going to start off with the Vornan Rebellion. Uh, so first of all, let's see here, just Captain, we are receiving a secure message from Starfleet Command, so we'll go ahead and accept it. All right, so Captain, this is Admiral Hawthorne. These orders are of top priority. We have received a call for help from the Vornan Colony and Otha system. As you may know, their colony was an independent state within the former Klingon neutral zone before it was annexed by the Klingon Empire three years ago. The Vornan's message claims that a rebel force has overthrown their Klingon governor and they seek Federation assistance in protecting their independence. Well, let's go help some folks out. Not only is this a humanitarian concern, Captain, but the Vornan colony is also a rich source of dilithium, which the Klingons have been using extensively for their war efforts against us. I don't need to tell you what a positive impact to the war a successful effort here would be. The Vornans transmitted the message from a stolen dilithium freighter within the Otha system, which they wish to give us rather than have it fall into enemy hands. We expect the Klingons will mount a quick offensive or retake the colony, and I'm organizing a fleet with which to hold the system. In the meantime, I want you to proceed directly to the Otha system and render whatever assistance you can to the rebels before our fleet arrives. So already got a good, strong opening story, and that's something that I'm always looking for, whether it's like, you know, player-made dungeons and EverQuest 2, I want to see some, some stories and whys, and this has got excellent written excellent written story so far. Uh, so let's see here. First steps, Oath the System. That's probably where I gotta go. So let's go ahead Yep, go to the Oath the System. Play the Vornan Uprising with your Klingon character. Oh, look at that. So if you play with a Klingon, then you're putting down the Rebellion. Very, very cool. So a dual purpose mission there. Uh, which is something I've also seen that um, that uh, uh, style size done is he's he's also got a um, in his forum post he has like four different missions that he's done and one of them was specifically from the Klingon side so he's done missions for for both Klingon and Federation that, that's really good All right, so let's go ahead and beam up now if you've seen me do any Star Trek you know I'm terrible at navigating so I know I gotta go to the Otha system. It's gonna take me a minute or two to figure out how to get there. So, but we're gonna start by warping out the sector. I found pretty much that's for me the best way to get anywhere. So I just gotta get out to sector space first. I know you would think with all the missions I review and run now, I would have an idea where to navigate and how to get to places. But nope, not very good. All right, so I'm looking for Otha. So I'm gonna pull up my main map. This is the first thing I do is I'll look and see if it's in my system listing. 
any Otha? Nope, got Omar. So I'm going to hit my galaxy map and see if I can find Otha. I wish they had, I could just kind of type in the name Otha and have have the computer kind of tell me where this stuff is. And I'm thinking because it's with Klingons, it would be somewhere in here somewhere. Otha, 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 Otha. Oh, let me pull it up real quick. Let's make that primary. Let's see if it gives me a hint. In the Eta Eridani sector block. So I'm going to go to Eta. Eta Eridani. Yeah, okay, well, I knew it'd be down here somewhere. Okay, so if I don't see it up here, then I know I want to at least start heading down here to the Eta Eridani. So let's see if I can go. Well, we'll just come on down. So I know I want to find Oath system, but sometimes you gotta go go big. And Oath is located in the Eta Eridani. So I'm just gonna head that way. Take a peek at some of the ships. Man, I tell you, I'm jealous. I need to I need to play a lot more if I want to start getting up to bigger ships. Just have so many games to pick up and play though. So we'll just take a few minutes to go through system space and now see here's a distress call but I'm not gonna get sidetracked today I'm gonna go work on this so first steps getting to the Otha system let's see how we're doing on the map yeah it's gonna take me about a minute here I can't do full impulse so I'm traveling at system space speeds center on player now doesn't travel with me it's all right. We need to get. I can zoom it out a bit. We need to get there. And there I am. So we're getting there. Woo! Take a peek at all the different stuff. You can disable astral metrics there, then it looks more more spacey. But I think it looks kind of cool. I like to see the grids and stuff. One of my favorite things, I mean, it might sound just kind of odd, but I really like seeing the different player ships because they've offered so many ships that you can buy from, like, the marketplace and then all the customizations you can do. It's really hard to find folks that have the exact same looking ship. So it's pretty neat sometimes just to see uh, what ideas people have come up with for, for designing their ships. kind of zoom it in getting close actually that one of my quicker times of trying to kind of figuring out where I need to go getting there I just didn't like the quad engine design I just can't yeah just not really feeling it but yeah, that's what I got. I think I'm doing the, the cruisers. They've got different ship styles. If you're not too familiar with the game of their ships, there's like the science vessels, there's a combat vessel, uh, and then they've got this here, kind of the engineering type vessel. I'm sure there's more correct terms. It's just that when I used to play the uh, the DPS pure ships, um, I, just, I would just get tore up. I just couldn't sustain the damage. I wasn't able to output enough to kill stuff before they got to me. So for me, I found the way I play these uh, cruisers are our best because I can take a lot more punishment. Yeah, I'm sure. I mean, I got friends that they they were most successful with like science vessels because they could have two officers with debuffing type abilities and things, and so they could just drop enemy shields and you know they were very successful in combat and they actually did better. Uh, using science vessels, so you, know, you just gotta find your style. Mine is with these heavy cruisers, so let's see what we got coming up here. Hello, what do you look like? Oh, they're moving out of the way. And I can see it, so we're about to head in there. Yep, let's go. 
Now from here I can look for Otha and I should be able to find it in in my list. So if I just hit map, hit my system list, there's Otha. Double click and I'm going. Okay, so I'm starting to learn how to how to move around. Let's see where it's on my map. So I'm going automatically. I'm not like super super concerned. Right there. Uh, so let's take a peek since this is kind of how Klingon y are we? Uh, yeah, we're we're kind of in the Klingon. So hopefully we don't get attacked by a bunch of Klingons. The Hingle Dingle, USS Swag. Okay, well not every ship that you see here has a very Star Trekky sounding name, but but we do got a lot of Federation vessels out here. Wow, big cluster there. Good luck finding a ship in that mess. Huddled around that little planet too. Getting close. Hit the area map. Oh. Closer. We really don't have any stories to make this time go better, so we just kind of enjoy the ride. Traveling there is half the fun. But almost like in the real military, it's a lot of hurry up and wait. So here we are. We're <laughs> this is the wait part. Um, so we found the mission, found out where we had to go, but now it takes a while to get there. However, um, you know, like most missions in Star Trek, once you get going, though, they they tend to keep you occupied. So, kind of enjoy the calm before the storm. Okay, it should be letting me in here any minute. It's going to pop up asking me if I want to go into the Oath of System, and we will. If not, there it is. Oh, let me stop. I don't want to enter a ground war zone, but I believe it's the um, the colony here. Let me double check. Yep, the Vornan colony. So we're going to go approach the Vornan colony. I think the that ground war was probably just um, I want to call it like an event or something public public event raid but since I'm not looking for Klingon ground war or anything like that I just we will go with the colony hopefully that's the next part of the mission There it is. Captain, I'm picking up the Vornan freighter towards the moon ahead. Reach the Vornan freighter. Perfect. So we're in the right spot and pick the right option. Here we goes. Let's check the map here. Nav beacon. So we're slowly coming in. I, I could speed it up. Okay, we'll speed it up. I can cut speed here once we start getting close to something. So there's a nav ally. Ooh, freighter does not look happy. So it looks like we weren't the first ones here, sir. Multiple Klingon vessels ahead, sir. The freighter has been disabled. So we got to defeat the Klingon vessels. Ooh, oh, birds of prey. Perfect. I love birds of prey. Ah, hey, hey, hey. Hey, my right clicking on the weapon systems to set them for auto fireworks again. For a while that hadn't been working, but 
now it is. I'll tell you what that means. It means 